Good evening, my friends. Welcome to our special training. Tonight, we're not only going to talk about how to enroll new associates before, during, and for that matter, even after your company can convention. I'm going to share with all of you why you really need to go. I'm going to give you four reasons why you need to be attending your these events and what your attendance will do for the growth of your business. And I promise you, this is going to be a real game changer for your business. I'm thrilled to see that you're here. Pat is one of the leaders in her company. Good friend. Got to, uh, known Pat for a long time. Pat, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, I got to tell you, saying I'm holding my own. When exactly is your big convention? It is on the um, 11th and 12th of August. Okay. And it's in Orlando. It's in Orlando. Yep. Convention Center. Right. So what I'm going to do tonight is we're going to focus on searching for and finding prospects in and around the Orlando area. There are a number of network marketing companies that I work with that are also having their conventions later on in August. And what you're going to find is historically, I mean, probably the biggest convention cities are San Diego, Las Vegas, Orlando, and there might be some other cities. And typically, when you have distributors and team members in those cities, there's a nucleus of people in your company that are there. So there might be extra events going on to support you know, the growth of everybody's business. But the thing is that you never want to go to an event by yourself. And the first time that you do, I promise you that after maybe the second day, you're going to be hitting yourself in the head. You're going to be saying, my God, I'm sorry, man, I wish I brought some people with me. And so there is, believe it or not, there is still time for all of you to make connections with people, literally introduce your business to qualified prospects. You could actually get some of them in your business before the event. And many times you can meet people at the event and just the excitement of the event will turn a lot of people onto your business. And in many cases, you'll even follow up with people and recruit them or enroll them after the event is over. Our focus tonight is how to enroll new associates before or during your company convention, specifically using LinkedIn and Facebook. Now, by the same token, this same approach can be used to enroll new associates every day, anywhere in the world that your company does business. So if you don't have a, a convention coming up, Everything that I'm going to share with you is going to apply to building your business on a daily basis. Now, first, let's just talk a little bit about prospects and leads because leads are free. LinkedIn and Facebook provide you with a huge, huge pool of people that you can easily tap into. So you don't have to advertise. You don't have to buy leads. You certainly don't need traffic and you don't need capture pages or lead pages or any kind of automated system. All you need is your profile on Facebook, your profile on LinkedIn. So save your money. As a matter of fact, if you add up all the money that you spent on advertising and lead purchases from the beginning of the year till June, first six months of the year, that's the amount of money that you're going to save in the second half. See, leads are free. You have, say, 860 million professional users on LinkedIn, and Facebook is now up to 2.89 billion users. And everybody on Facebook, everybody on LinkedIn is easy to identify, is easy to put into a particular group, represented by that bowl of candy and nuts. You can build your business on LinkedIn and Facebook in an hour a day, but the truth is you don't have to stop after an hour, and you're going to find that LinkedIn is much, much better than Facebook. LinkedIn is the world's largest professional social network with 860 million professionals. It's no longer a secret. You know, back in 2017, when I was at the Isogenics convention in Vegas, I sat in the back of the room watching presentation. They had about eight or nine of their recent rank advancers up on stage talking about how they were using Facebook to build a business. And nobody was talking about LinkedIn. I did a training for some of the leaders that were there and their teams. And I had people coming up to me throughout the presentations. Well, how come nobody's talking about LinkedIn? And I kind of smiled and I reminded them about the power of LinkedIn. If you knew that there were 30 personal trainers that are looking for an opportunity within 15 miles of where you were having an ISA University event, are you going to stand up on stage and tell everybody about it? Of course not. Now, not only that was back in 2017. Well, today, LinkedIn is no longer a secret. Millions of marketers are joining every month 
forcing LinkedIn to make significant changes. They have literally changed so many things. It's not the same. LinkedIn now has 860 million professional users every day. They're adding 345,000 every week. 2 million new profiles are added. In the month of June, 10 million profiles were added. This is a huge growth from what it used to be back in 2016, back in 2017. Probably the first 10 days of August, we'll find out what the numbers are for July. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be at least another 10 million. LinkedIn is Facebook for professionals and you could use it for free. And they've got new features that rival some of the things that you can be doing on Facebook. It is going to become your favorite social network primarily because of the contents of profiles and their searching features. Now, everyone on Facebook and LinkedIn put their profile on the social network for a reason. The profile photo and cover, plus the information provided on it, and the visible daily activity of the profile's creator makes it easy to identify who'd be a great prospect for your business. You're looking for business builders, people that want to start a business from home. And with the economy the way it is, the price of gas, uh, increased prices for everything, the inflation rate going up, more and more people today are looking for ways to make extra income from home. Out of that big bowl of candy, you can find business builders, people that want to start a business from home. A better group of people would be unhappy network marketers that are looking for another company. Now, how many times a day can you reach into that bowl and pull out a yellow M&M? There's no limit. Happy network marketers that are open to looking at your business. They may love the products that they're taking, but the compensation plan of the business they're in will never enable them to achieve the kind of financial success they like. So they're open to looking at what you're doing. And finally, of course, customers, people who would buy what you sell once they know about it. However, there's one thing that you absolutely have to take in mind. And that is you only want to be reaching out to people that are active, especially on LinkedIn. If you reach out to people to make a connection on LinkedIn and they haven't been active for a couple of years, then LinkedIn, if you do it enough times, will actually suspend you and reduce your searching ability. You want to talk to people who are active. Now, if you knew in advance by the contents of visible daily activity on someone's profile that they were a perfect prospect for what you're selling and you could very quickly develop a relationship with them before you talk about your business, you're going to sell to more people and build your business faster. These are the people that you could be talking to tomorrow. And once you identify their need, once you're in a position to show them the business, you can actually maybe get them into the business and meet them in Orlando or meet them in Orlando before let the event motivate them to join. Instead of wasting time reaching out to a bunch of people who will never buy your product or get into business with you, I'm going to show you simple ways to find perfect prospects and even simpler ways and means of attracting the people who would want to buy your products to get into business with you on LinkedIn and Facebook before they're contacted by your competitors and they do business with them instead. And you're going to be able to use the company events to give you extra, extra power. It's easy to identify perfect prospects from the information listed on their profile and their daily activity and their answers to some simple qualifying questions. LinkedIn and Facebook are like two big bowls of candy. They are online gold lines of eager prospects that you can proactively reach into anytime you want from any place in the world and pull out the desired candy of your choice. But today, LinkedIn is much better than Facebook. Now, the fastest way to grow a bigger business is to find and then enroll unhappy network marketers with big teams who are searching for a new company. And it can be as simple as pulling a yellow m and from the candy bowl when you know where to find them. Your business will also grow faster when you find and enroll network marketers in other companies or people with prior network marketing experience who would like to find a new company. It can also be as easy as pulling blue m and from a candy bowl when you know where to find them and how to approach them. So let's talk about how to enroll new associates before or during your company convention on LinkedIn and Facebook. So let me first emphasize the importance of going to your company convention. It used to be prior to COVID that the only way you were going to get this exposure was to physically go there. And I know now companies are broadcasting these things virtually. And you could use that. I mean, you could literally invite a prospect to join you, share some of that experience. And of course, you can do it during the event, or you can save it for later. You're going to learn skills from the top leaders. You want to meet and network with other people in your company. You want to increase your beliefs, beliefs in your company, beliefs in your products, and beliefs in the network marketing industry. And more importantly, beliefs in yourself. Now, if you're new to network marketing, MLM or direct sales, and you haven't attended your company's main convention or training event yet, then you are making one of the biggest mistakes possible in your business. Now, there are many reasons to attend your company's convention. Your offline is most likely urging you to invest in yourself and go to the next big event because it's going to give you 
a tremendous foundation to build your business upon. There are four big reasons to attend your comedy convention or training event. I'm going to go over those four reasons first, and then I'm going to show you some ways to find great prospects for your business. Now, the number one reason to attend your company convention is belief. Nothing increases your belief in the network marketing company you're working with than attending the company convention. Believe in your company and in yourself are critical to your success in network marketing. Without both, you will never be able to achieve a high level of success. Attending your company's convention or main training event does both of these things for you. At your company convention, you'll be exposed to the full scope of the business opportunity and get the big picture of the opportunity that you're part of. Typically, there are thousands, if not 10,000s of people in attendance from across the country or from around the world. And sometimes even if you don't really understand the opportunity, you don't understand the conflict, you bring someone to the event. They don't understand it either. But the belief that comes from looking at all these people that are excited, their belief transfers to you. It forces people to accept the fact that, hey, I don't get it yet. I will get it. But man, if these people are all excited, I should be excited too. Now, you're going to have the chance to see and sometimes meet the owners of the company and the top leaders in the field. Depending on the size of your company, as a relatively new representative, you may not have had the opportunity to meet your full line of sponsorship. Your upline. The company convention is a good opportunity to make those connections. And if you're going to the convention, make it a point to introduce yourself to as many of the top leaders as you can, even if they are not in your upline. Get a chance to talk to them because remember, for those of you that are students, you know something that most of these people don't. You know how to use LinkedIn to build your business. And that's going to be an ace for all of you. And you'll get to interact with people with similar backgrounds to you who have achieved great levels of success. And you'll see and hear the testimonials of the newest distributors to be promoted to top position. It is a tremendous learning experience. And you'll begin to believe that if they can do it, then you can do it too. Sometimes you may even think, if this guy can do it, then I know I can do it. Another part of building your belief is the social proof of seeing thousands of like-minded people with the same goals and aspirations that you have. From a company perspective, You'll see that you do have the backing of an entire staff and organization behind your opportunity and your belief level rises. One more key aspect of belief when attending your company event is that your prospect will respond to you based on your belief levels. So if you don't fully believe in it, your prospects can sense that and will hesitate to join you. But if you believe in your heart that this is a phenomenal opportunity and it's exactly what your prospects need, then it's up to you to frankly show them. When you truly believe in your opportunity and what it represents, not only will your prospects respond more positively to you, but their response to you will start to matter less. You don't need their acceptance or approval because you know that you know that you've got what people are looking for. The number two reason to attend your company convention is vision. If you're new to your business, you may not realize how big of an opportunity you have on your hand. You may have just been dipping your toes in the water, so to speak, hoping that this opportunity will work for you. But you haven't really been given it. Full-blown effort. Maybe you don't know how. Your expectations and vision for where you want to go and what you want to accomplish with your opportunity may be limited or scaled back because you really don't know what's possible. By attending your company convention, not only will you get exposed to the grand vision of the company, but you'll be able to expand your own vision. And typically at the company events, they're introducing new products. They're, it, this is where they announce all of the new things that are coming up. The company convention will put you in an environment with like-minded, high-achieving people that will challenge you to break out of your self-induced limitations. You know, Jim Rohn used to have a, a saying, where you are today is based on the five people that you hung around with the most over the last five years. And where you're going to be five years from now is going to be determined by the num by the five people that you hang out with the most. Attending your company events gives you an opportunity to hang out with people that are way, way more successful than you. Third reason to attend your company convention is energy. It's often said that the best thing about network marketing is the people. At the same time, the worst thing about network marketing is the people. The steps to building a successful network marketing organization are relatively simple, but no one will ever tell you that it's easy. So when you are dealing with people, you will see the best and sometimes the worst, and it can be a draining process. Many companies have conventions or large events every three or, or four months, and there's a method to this madness and repetition as the timing of the convention and event are designed to recharge the drain batteries of the field of distributor. Conventions and events are like a shot of adrenaline and energy to the field of distributor. You cannot leave one of these events without being on fire. Your vision and belief will be restored to their highest levels at the convention. The environment at the convention is very different from your daily grind and the party-like celebration experience 
is something you don't get every day. But if you're going to go to the convention, why not eliminate all the expenses of going by signing up enough people in your business to compensate for whatever you're going to spend. Most people coming out of their company convention are fully recharged and ready to go. Your energy level will be at the highest level possible, and you'll be ready to get back to working on achieving your goals and your dreams. The fourth reason to attend is training. Now, training is critical to being successful in any company. Most people do not come to network marketing with the skills needed to be a professional in the business. Your company convention will have the best of the best distributors sharing their knowledge and experience to help shorten your own learning curve and to prevent you from repeating the same mistakes they make. The only thing better than learning from your own mistakes is learning from someone else. Many companies will bring in guest speakers and trainers like John Maxwell, Robert Kiyosaki, or Tony Robbins. Being trained by those experts can be priceless experience and will be well worth the course of attendance, considering how much you might pay to see these experts at their own event. I remember when I was at the Isogenics event in Vegas in uh, August of 2017, they had Tony Robbins. The simple fact is that people who attend their company conventions or main training events will be far better trained and prepared than those who don't go. Hopefully by now you should see that the value of attending your company's convention or main training event. So now let's take some steps and let's find people. Let's start talking to people, enrolling them into your business, and get them to the event. If you're new, it is especially critical that you attend your first event as soon as possible. Most people who quit network marketing are never involved long enough to attend their first convention. At this stage in your network marketing career, your belief and vision in yourself and your company could make or break you. Make the investment in yourself to solidify that belief and that vision. Get the training you need and get your batteries fully charged for your journey to the top of your business. Now, statistics show that for every person you have in attendance at your company's big convention on your team, you can add $1,000 to your income. So if you have 100 people in, your, in attendance, you may be earning $100,000 a year in your business. If you have 500 people in attendance, you could be earning half a million dollars. And if your team consisted of 1,000 people, you could be earning a million dollars. So who are the best prospects for your business? We want to go prospecting. We want to go looking for people. So we got to have a pretty good idea of who we're looking for. Knowing your target audience and understanding who you want to talk to is going to determine who you're searching for, how you'll engage them, and increase the number of people you can talk to every day. The more selective you are, the more precise you are, the better. And when we're talking about searching for people on Facebook and LinkedIn, we're talking about searching with the accuracy of a laser. You want to know why your prospects need what you have. The key to using my strategies and scripts successfully and increasing your closing ratios is to simply use them with the right people. Closing more sales is less about selling, more about listening and solving problems. But if your prospect doesn't have problems, doesn't feel like they need your product or want to get into your business, it's a waste of time and effort to talk to them. The reason most people fail in sales or network marketing and lose a lot of money and time is they try to sell their product or opportunity to the wrong people. So remember, you can't sell filet mignon at two cents a pound to a vegetarian. Now, it's easy to connect with the right people because your choice of who to contact and talk to on LinkedIn and Facebook is going to be based on a number of things. You can be looking for customers. You can be looking for business builders. Your business will grow faster if you're talking to business builders. First, your personal searching parameters. Who are you specifically looking for? Their profile, the contents, the images displayed, their activity, their obvious online agenda. Are they on there to network or are they trying to sell something? The ease of connecting with them and the ease of communicating with them. Now, reaching out to somebody that you don't know. And, we, you know, we have our standard, you know, hey, LinkedIn has suggested that we connect. You have to look into profile. I would agree. So let's connect. Something as simple as that. But what you do is you can write to someone and you can say, you know, your profile has come up on LinkedIn as someone that I should know. And if you're looking at your profile, I'd have to agree. Perhaps it's because I perhaps, and again, we're looking, we're talking to somebody in Orlando. Perhaps your profile came up because I'm expanding my business to Orlando and plan on visiting next month for a mini vacation and a business conference. Let's connect. And right away, that plants in the seed, in the mind of the person, you know, what's your business? What's that all about? Looking for people. You're looking for business builders. So what do they look like? They're active on LinkedIn or Facebook. They're positive. They share similar experiences that you have. They share similar interests. They share similar values. And you can pull this information right off their profile. And they have a large circle of influence. And of course, obviously, they need or use what you're selling. Now, when you got into your business, the first thing you, most people are told to do is make a list of your warm market. Make a list of the people that you know. And what you can do 
is go down the list of people you're connected to, or if you got that list, these are the characteristics of a serious business builder. You're passionate about your products, ambitious beyond their current circumstances, entrepreneurial, they'd rather work for themselves than work for somebody else. They've been successful at something and they've got a large circle of influence. So as you're going down a list of the people that you know, put a five next to their name if they have all five of these characteristics, four, a three, a two, the appropriate number. Then go after the fives and possibly the fours. Now, it is just as easy to identify a serious business builder and it's just as easy to enroll one as it is a new customer. Your business grows faster with new business builders. And for those of you that are students, the special project launch script is for business builders. Now, in case you didn't know this, it takes 90 minutes for the average person to respond to an email, but it only takes 90 seconds for the average person to respond to a text message. Today, 99% of your prospecting, recruiting, and business building activity can now be done on your mobile phone with a Facebook and LinkedIn phone app. So now let's get to it. How do we enroll? new associates before or during your company convention. Again, for those of you that don't have a company convention coming up, what I'm going to share with you applies everywhere. Now, on both Facebook and LinkedIn, you use the search tab up at the top of the profile to look for your prospects. You're going to use a keyword search and you're going to use an advanced search, which is searching with multiple keywords. Now you can search for people on LinkedIn by zip code and distance to the convention center or your hotel. So if we're looking for people on LinkedIn, I did the search for people on LinkedIn that are looking for new opportunity and there were 800, 8,420,000 people. Now we could break these 8,420,000 people down by their profession and by their location. And so what you can do is take the zip code from the hotel that you're going to be staying at in Orlando or take the zip code of the Orlando convention center, plug it in and go within 50 miles. That's less than an hour drive to the convention. You go hundred miles and we're now we're talking about Tampa, St. Pete, but it doesn't matter. You could do the entire state of Florida. Today, it's easier to search for people by their profession on LinkedIn than it is on Facebook. In fact, you can't do an effective keyword search on Facebook. So to more effectively search for people on Facebook by their profession, simply use LinkedIn superior searching features to locate your prospects by their profession and location, save their name and search for them on Facebook. So let's say we were looking for opportunities, people looking for an opportunity that are re retail store managers in Atlanta. That's how specific you can get. And we come up with somebody that really looks like a great prospect and his name is John Wayne. Then we go over to Facebook and we type in John Wayne, Atlanta, Georgia. We bring up his profile and we can connect with him there. Now, there are many ways to use LinkedIn search and it's easy to find who you're looking for. You want to search for professionals naturally attracted to your company and your products. Now, there are 10 occupations with the highest burnout rate. And I just want to run by these professions and these numbers. And then I'm going to show you how to find them on LinkedIn. More importantly, I'm going to show you how to find them in Orlando. So physicians are the number one profession with the highest level of burnout. Look at all of these people that you could reach out and talk to, and you could filter it down to Orlando. Number two are nurses. You never have to buy a lead. I mean, come on. There are 463,000 licensed practical nurses. The third is social workers. You would filter them down to Florida. You could filter them down to Orlando. Number five are teachers. Now, teachers make great network marketers because you don't have to be good at sales. You have to be good at teaching and training the people that you bring into your business. School principals, number five. Number six, attorneys. Who needs to buy leads? Connecting with these people is as easy as reaching into a bowl of candy. Police officers. You know, it's shocking to say that in many areas, professionals are leaving law enforcement. Easy to find on LinkedIn. Public accountants, number eight. Fast food employees. The variations here are astounding. And then finally, we have retail salespeople. Now, we have another group of people that are also naturally attracted to network marketing. So we can search for professionals, for the right professionals. If we go on LinkedIn and we did a search for teachers in the United States, we have 6,140,000 teachers. If we filter it down, teachers looking for an opportunity, there's 3,340,000. Now, that's in the United States. We can break that down into Florida or Orlando. So when we do the search for teachers, what comes up is a whole list of teachers. The first one here has a frame around his picture. He's open to work. The fourth one down here, again, open to work. We didn't ask for teachers that were open to work. We just did teachers. More and more people are framing their picture with the open to work frame. But at the same time, 
LinkedIn is making some changes and encouraging everybody to replace the connect button with a follow button. And in the months ahead, you're going to see more of these connect buttons disappear. You want to, you, you can still connect with people, but you, you got to go through a couple of steps. So looking in Florida, 194,000. Teachers looking in Orlando, 11,000. Now, if you've been on LinkedIn for a while and you're already connected to people, this is a great search. Go in and look for the people that you are directly connected to. They're on your first level. And then look for the ones in Orlando. Then expand it and look for the people that you're directly connected to in Florida. Because it's only a three-hour drive from Miami to Orlando. Search for people that are looking for an opportunity to make money from home. So we did a search for looking in Orlando. You got 15,000 people in Orlando that are looking. Looking in Florida, 9.9 .9 million people are looking for ways to make money from home in Florida. And when you reach out to the right people, it's not a big deal for them to drive. People in fitness. In Orlando, you got 5,700 people. In Florida, you got 93,000 people in fitness. So here I did a search. This was the original search I showed at the beginning. Teachers in the United States. 1.6, I mean 6.14 million people. So if we put looking in front, you got 3,340,000 teachers that are looking for an opportunity in the United States. So we change it to Florida. You got 194,000 and as we scroll down, we want to make sure these people are current. You get 10 on a page. So here's somebody that's looking to pursue a career in the field of communication and human resource. Look at the amount of information you get on people. You're looking at their resume. Okay, so she's been a teacher for six years. Prior to that, she was in retail for almost 11. I promise you, this woman knows all about network marketing. And all you have to do is hit the connect button, make that connection, and then it's all about conversation. So let's do something a little different. Let's come up here and let's pick a category. You really want to be successful in your business. One of the best categories of prospects to reach out to are people in sales, people that are into recruiting. So there's two ways to do it. There's recruiting, which is a skill, and then there's recruiter, which is a profession. So first, let's see how many recruiters are on LinkedIn. And remember that LinkedIn was originally set up as a repository for resumes. So we have 58,000 recruiters. When you see the yellow and white LinkedIn icon, it means they are paying to be on LinkedIn. And it's called their open networkers. Any, you can reach out and connect with anybody if you see they've got the gold and white LinkedIn icon. So here we got recruiters. And then let's go with recruiting. How many people have the skill recruiting. We got 172,000. Now, th this is Florida. It's not the United States. Now, what we want to do is we want to go looking, recruiting. And we have in Florida, 958 people that are recruiters that are looking for another opportunity. Is this unbelievable or what? All right. So now recruiting, let's look at the people in Florida that are recruiters, 28,000 that are looking for another opportunity. Now you have to read the profile because there's somebody here with the green open to work profile. And then there's someone down here with the purple it, that's looking for people. You want to go with the green one. Change Florida. So there are 1.2 million recruiters on LinkedIn that are looking for an opportunity. Then we come over here, Orlando, you have 2,600 people. There is nothing to prevent you from connecting with people on a daily basis, discovering who they are, what they need, and then positioning yourself to talk to them about your business. Absolutely nothing. So I would start immediately, for those of you that are in isogenics, start connecting with people in the Orlando area. You might want to check your own connections to see how many connections you have in Orlando. The rest is history. LinkedIn and Facebook have changed and they've added a lot of new features. It seems like they do it every month. New features that are going to make it easier for you to take advantage of these changes and connect with people that you know and people that you want to know. So until next time, best of luck in building your business. God bless. Get on LinkedIn, my friends. It is your pathway to outrageous success. Outrageous success.